the servant of Jesus Christ. We believe we from God the Father and from God the Father's Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Jesus Christ is live and is set on the right hand of the Father right now. According to the scripture. According to 1 John, if you don't confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, I believe we better get that. I believe we better get that and mess up your shop. According to 1 John, Jesus, so bring me my gift. 
I'm not Jesus. Write me my gift. Merry Christmas. Write my gift. <laughs> Romans 16. I God and said it to you. Now I beseech you, brother, the market which called the visit of his contrary to the doctrine which he have learned in the for them. For they are for they are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own bed. You serve your own bed. Alright, Titus 1. Titus chapter 1, and I believe I won't verse 11. Verse 10. For there are many unruly vain talking and deceitful, especially of circumcision, Jews, who mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teach the thing which they ought not, for fear the Lucas say, that by most of you preach for money, to get some money. Hallelujah. That's why some of you preach. You ain't preaching to, to, to please Jesus. If you were preaching to please Jesus and to please God, you was preach what Jesus told you to preach. You were preaching because that makes no sense. Not repeat after me. Not just sitting hand up right where y'all. Not just believe he died, he rose again. You will preach repentance and remission of sin. Luke chapter 24, verse 47. You will hear repentance in the church now. Everybody people they repent, they say, they say, they say excuse me. Hallelujah. You, you, if, 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 you, if you were preaching, you will preach what Jesus told you to preach. And you will tell nobody that Jesus said so and see for a miracle. If you were preaching to please Jesus, you would be, you would preach what Jesus said preach. You Jesus said he he would have mercy, not sacrifice. So you won't tell nobody that Jesus requires your sacrifice, Jesus requires your tithes and offering. God requires your tithes and offering. When Christ is the end of the law, you ain't preaching what Jesus preached. Why are you preaching? Jesus don't require your tithes and offering. God don't require your tithes and offering. You require our tithes and offering. That's going to you. You require it. Not God, not Jesus. If you were preaching what Jesus preached, you would have a respected person. You would think you better than this because of what you got. Because of where you live. If you were preaching what Jesus preached, you, you, you would be a bigot in a racist. If you were preaching what Jesus would preach, you would have no respect of person. You would love one of them. You would forgive one of them. You would preach that. You would preach whatever they say. If you were preaching what Jesus would preach, you would say your past is great as in the world. Your mind's going to be renewed. Being transformed by renewing of your mind. You know what that was talking about? We all members together, ain't no division among us. We all members of the body of Christ, ain't nobody that over nobody else. If you were preaching what Jesus preached, you would preach exactly what he preached. You will be concerned about filling your church up with members. You will be concerned about pointing people to the kingdom of God. You will be concerned about pointing people to Christ. And on all the poor people of Christ, you gotta preach Christ. Your building ain't Christ. Your church ain't Christ. You will have no registration fee. You will sell no books to teach out of. You will teach this. You will have no musical with pay $25 and throw my tickets at the door. If you were preaching to please Jesus, you would preach what Jesus said, preach. You wouldn't say nobody got no heaven here to put you in. You wouldn't say we all got saved. You wouldn't say nobody put if you were preaching what Jesus preached. You gotta say what Jesus said. Why are you preaching? Jesus tell you to go and try to fill up no church building. He said, preach the gospel to every creature. And he didn't believe. Don't you know the majority of those in your church building they say? Excuse me. I want a bigger ministry. That's right. You want a bigger ministry. That's you. That's your desire. That's not that's not God's will. That's 
not Jesus desire for you to have a bigger vision. That's for you. It's not for Jesus. You call people to Christ. The results of you, by the way, how many people have you led to Christ? In order to lead people to Christ, you got to point people to Christ. And don't point them to you. And don't point them to your organization. And don't point them to your bill. But point them to Christ. Tell them what Christ say. You preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. In order to be a successful pastor and minister, you got to do what Jesus said do and preach what Jesus said preach and live what Jesus told you live. That's what you a successful minister. And you preach the same to them. You're not successful, although you drive it up. Oh, no. 